Hello, this is um, Michael Fembeck. I'm the director of the Zero Project and I'm proud and happy to host uh, the second fireside uh, talk uh, this morning. Uh, and uh, I'm even more glad uh, that I have uh, good friends of us here uh, together with me uh, on the screen. I'm welcoming uh, Yuval Wagner, the chairman of Access Israel. And on, the, on, the, on my right side, I'm welcoming Nia Cohen, uh, who is uh, uh, the, the uh, most probable uh, uh, leader of a, new, of a new project that we are going to discuss about today. So, Yuval, can you hear me well? Can you hear as well? Yes, great. Yeah, okay. So, Yuval, um, you're up to something great. You and Access Israel, uh, it's, uh, it's something new. It's a paradigm shift. Uh, it's about technology and it's a big thing to come. So, what is it? Well, you know, we all of us dealing with accessibility for so many years. <laughs> Access Israel is dealing with it 22 years. <clears throat> I myself on the wheelchair for 33 years. And, you know, we see things are getting better in, you know, especially now when we have this amazing Zero Project Conference. We see so many people, so many work, so many prizes. And we have a, still a lot th of things to improve in, hold, in order to have accessibility, in order to enable people to, with disabilities to live with their disabilities normally like everyone else. And we found out when we evaluated the past that we were doing something very, very wrong. Everything we do in accessibility is we fixing it retroactively. We build unaccessible buildings and then we have to fix them. We build unaccessible website and then we have to fix it. We make services for the clients and then we have to adjust them and make them accessible. And doing things retroactively is the worst way to do things. We have to do it by design. Because when we do it retroactively, it costs more money, it takes a lot, a lot of time, and it makes a social gap or a social or accessible gap for people with disabilities. So our basic idea, let's change the paradigm and let's do everything by design. And this puts us in a very special opportunity, an historic opportunity. Because when we look to the future, all of us can understand that everything will be by technology. Our smart homes, our smart cities, smart med education, smart medicine, smart autonomy cars, everything will be based on technologies and services that are based on technologies. So this is we want to catch this amazing opportunity and jump on it and tackle it and make sure all technologies will be accessible by design. And this is something that is not happening now. You know, in your conference, in your project, we are getting aware to many things that are being done, but it's a project here, it's a project there, it's a, a company over there. It's like randomly, and it's only a few. If you want to really succeed in making our future fully accessible for all disabilities in all areas of life, we have to make sure that everything is accessible. And here we invented this amazing idea that we are fully excited and about it, and we are honored by the opportunity to share with the friends of Zero, the, with the Zero Project community. And I would like to give Nir the opportunity to share more deeply about the project possible and actually how we're going to change the future by design for people with disabilities. Thank you, Yuval. Um, so uh, this is an incredible vision and uh, we, of course, as the Zero Project, share this 100%, but I'm now 
looking to near to my right side, who is the man who uh, should and will make this happen. I'll be so in charge. <laughs> you're in charge. So, uh, what are you up to? What's the what's the concrete uh, solution and project that you're working on? So I'll speak a bit about uh, possible initiative, but the most important thing is about creating the ability and creating a consortium. Because if you want to create a big change, a large change, and when we thought about even the name of it, we said that it's going to be possible. That's the main idea, to convince people that it's possible. What Caroline Casey has just mentioned, what Yuval just said, creating technology accessible by design, it's something that it's weird that it's not happening already. And so basically it's about creating a consortium, creating an ecosystem of innovation and bringing everyone to the table, bringing the large corporates, bringing the startups, bringing organization of disabilities and understanding or explaining the main barriers. And that's the most important thing because everyone are committed to the idea of disabilities and inclusion, but what do they need to do? What is the challenge, the main challenge of awareness? And if we want to create a large change before the awareness, we need to do the research and we need to understand the main barriers and bring in everyone to the table. And only after that, and, and we are about to focus, as you've all mentioned, on smart transportation, focusing on taxis, and we are about to focus on healthcare and, and focus on uh, all the aspects that are relevant to people with disabilities and to work with the industry and with organization of disabilities to understand the main barriers, what can be done and what solutions do we have already, and then to promote them uh, ahead. So the main idea is to understand and identify the main barriers and then to create uh, uh, reporting on each and every aspect and only then bringing the awareness and bringing everyone to the, to the table. And, and I think that possible is a great example to the amazing things that happen here um, in Zero Project. And okay, <laughs> now you can hear me better. Um, and the main thing is to create this ripple effect. I mean, to bring any more uh, more organization to this initiative to create. I'm seeing what she's drawing, and it's amazing. But to create more uh, organization related to this possible initiative, bringing their things to the table, understanding the main barriers, and helping understand how do we need or what do we need to do in order to create it. And we believe, Yuval, myself, and all the people in Access Israel, that it's possible. And it's as simple as that. Mm. Um, I think we as the Zero Project, and I trust everyone uh, in this room here will agree with what you're saying, but uh, just to drill down a little bit, you have to start somewhere, no? as you cannot do everything at the same time for everyone and every, uh, every uh, barrier. No? Uh, you mentioned already uh, uh, cars and taxis, you mentioned health. Uh, where you want to start? Uh, what's your first project? How do you how do you kick this off? Yuval, you want me? <laughs> you want yeah, it? You okay. want me to? I'll I'll Whatever. jump I'll jump in. Perfect. Well, um, the thing the, after we research, uh, many areas that we looking forward in the future to uh, to tackle. One of them, of course, everyone knows, everyone hears about autonomic transportation, and probably the first autonomic transportation of the kind that will be implemented in our cities, in our smart cities, is we're looking for the autonomic taxi. And so this is, will be our first uh, focus, and we will do this with ONSE and Zero Project and other other friends. And the, the, we are going to define and understand and learn and research what are the barriers that are now avoiding or not a enabling uh, autonomic taxis to be fully accessible for someone on a wheelchair, how it's gonna go himself on a ramp when the driver cannot help him, and how a blind person can find and locate the taxi, go into it and you know give instruction where he wants to, to go, and et cetera, et cetera. And we're going to define all the barriers. And this list of barriers, we're going to publish uh, and make it, you know, we're going to make awareness about these challenges to the all tech uh, community, challenging them. We're going to take the barriers and transform them to a challenge, to challenges. And we're actually going to cha challenge the tech 
a community in the world and tech companies in the world to develop solutions that at the end will enable, for example, the autonomic taxis to be fully accessible. And that's the idea, but it's not going alone. It's the, the research and the publication of the challenges is only the core uh, work. Around it, we will do many, many cooperations with nonprofits, with technology companies, with universities, with startups, motivating development uh, of those solutions and products for those challenges that we raised, we raised up. So it's super exciting. And as we said, it's not only cars. For example, all of us know that um, uh, uh, we're talking about uh, health and we're talking about education and smart homes. In all of those areas, okay, we have things that we have to develop in order to have an accessible future. Mm-hmm. So we are actually, um, I'm going to pass to Nir <laughs> yeah. to, to give a call. Who, who do you look for for us to, to join us on this mission? Yeah, so that would be my closing question. Uh, so uh, I think you got like-minded people here. People are fully motivated to join in. What would you expect uh, us and the rest of the community? Uh, how, how can we come in? Exactly. And Yuval has mentioned transportation, of course, and uh, healthcare, but it's about aviation, and it's about education, and it's about employment, and it's about computers, and robotics, and verification, all the things, all the aspects that are relevant to the lives of people with disabilities. And we are looking to create a process that will be based on expert, but will be based as well as on opinions of people from the public. And it will allow people to participate, we'll allow to bring inside experts, but we need the industry. So if this aspect, transportation and education, employment, aviation, healthcare, robotics, computer or verification, relevant to your organization, and if you are a large organization that create technology and you are willing to do the, um, <laughs> just to believe that it is possible, then we are working and we are willing to work with you and we want to work with you, um, to create and understand even better the barriers and what need and what can be done in order to create a future of accessible by design that will be relevant, first of all, to your companies and to people with disabilities. Okay. Um, you have some closing I, words. We, we got I, one more minute. Uh, some closing words from okay, your side. I just, yeah. want to thank, I just want to thank you because uh, we're going to work also with the amazing new database of Zero Project. And so I just want to mention that too, and to thank you about, it's all about doing together a greater cause for all of us. So we're looking forward for corporations from the community of Zero Projects and everyone that is interested in making the future tech era accessible by design. Thank you, Yuval. Uh, thank you, Nir. We are really looking forward to this uh, great project. And uh, yeah, whenever you come, uh, we are there and uh, we will do this together. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, before we really close this, we have our Petra, our graphic facilitator with us. Uh, she summarized this discussion. So uh, if the camera moves over to the uh, to the graphic, then Petra will give us a, a one-minute summary of how, how she saw this discussion, what she took away from it. Yeah, a very quick summary, and it will be more colorful later. Um, I heard about bugs, bugs that are integrated in our n- nowadays design, be it buildings, technology. So I drew a lot of bugs. And um, these bugs can be fixed if we bring everybody together on a table, all the experts, um, make a list of where the bugs are, and then make an accessible future by design and not fix it later on. That's my summary. Wow. Thanks a lot. It was not one minute, it was 20 seconds. So congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>